Hello, welcome back to my channel. So I just got some insider tea and apparently Lindsay and Blaine are no longer together. So they have actually been broke up for a while now and when she did this photo shoot about four months ago, she went out to Florida and I remember making a video about it because I was like, man, are they still together? Because here she is out in Florida taking bikini pictures out in the ocean. Meanwhile, Blaine's posting that he's having surgery by himself and Lindsay actually spoke out and she's like, oh, it's not my fault that he scheduled his surgery whenever I had a week vacation plan for months now. So I had an insider source reveal to me that Lindsay and Blaine have been broke up for a while now and when she went to Florida to do that photo shoot, she was bragging behind the scenes about how she was going to see another guy in Naples, Florida. And now knowing this information, I went back and right before this trip was the last time Lindsay posted with Blaine. I have no idea if we're gonna see their breakup on this season or not, but apparently after she broke up with Blaine, she is back in square one once again because she no longer has a partner, but she reached out to Blaine like, hey, if you wanna, you know, do another storyline for next season, we can always do that. And apparently Blaine said he doesn't want nothing to do with it. If she's not gonna be with him, he's not gonna entertain the nonsense. And I don't blame him. So Lindsay posted, today that she was opening up presents with her daughter Miley Grace and you can see in the background that she's in the trailer that we saw in the show. Then Blaine posted his Christmas and you can tell he's in a different location and the gifts under the tree are just for him and his two children. And then he posted this dirt bike that he got his son and I noticed Lindsay was in the comments saying gloves, chest pads, knee pads, all the pads please. This is something she could have told him if they were together. But since they broke up, you could tell this is news to her that he got a dirt bike and she's still trying to make sure that he's safe even though they're no longer together. So Blaine has been getting a lot of smoke after posting his Christmas pictures because he posted a gift of a Confederate flag that he got for his son. But also because people noticed that he decided to gift his son a husky. The thing is though, look at the size of that damn crate that he decided to put the husky in. The husky can't even comfortably sit up and you can tell he can't even sit there. He has to be in this crouched position just to be able to fit in that cage. Maybe this is all you had for a second. You had to improvise and put a bow on it and give it to your son. But even after the son acknowledged that he had a puppy, He's still opening up presents and the puppy's still in that small cage and he does not look comfortable at all. And he's like, guys, what about me? And people were eating him up in the comments. Someone said, let the dog out of the damn cage. That's disgusting. And someone else said, I don't follow you since you have a large dog in a cage. It can't even turn around it. And someone else was saying, not the Confederate flag. And someone said, please get an appropriate size crate. Huskies are escape artists and need a ish load of simulation and exercise or they'll get very aggressive you know especially after being in a small cage like that for so long but the son just reaching his hands inside the crate like that that could have been a bad situation quick I feel so bad the poor little dog looks so stressed out Blaine just needs to get the dog out of that damn cage and he needs to throw that cage away because that dog is way too big for that cage and that dog is only going to get bigger. So I also noticed in one of the Love After Lock of Facebook groups after we saw the last episode where Lindsay went and she decided she wanted to buy a necklace to kind of propose to Blaine and they made it seem like on the show that it was $200. So someone was like, how much was Blaine's necklace? $200, it's white gold, that doesn't even make any sense. So Lindsay actually responded. She said, I paid $2,200 for that. I have no idea why they edited the price to make it sound like $200. So they cut out the $2,000 part and just, oh my goodness. They just did that to be messy. To make then Lindsay continued, I saved up for that chain for months. That's crazy. $200 for a 20 inch 14K solid white gold chain. Where? Then she saw people second guessing her storyline that she's facing 40 years. This is what she had to say. I'm not gonna read it all. If you guys wanna read it, you can stop and pause. But I, oh my gosh, okay. I have been wanting to recap this last episode. And here it is, what, 
what's today monday yes so here it is like three days after the show was on i can't remember anything from the last episode except Lindsay's bs scene where she pulls up on this guy that looks like blaine in a way demanding her money and i'm still it's been three days and i'm still trying to figure out what the hell did i just watch that's the only scene i can remember and she literally pulls up on this guy and asks him for money and she's like you got my money you know she's trying to collect on her money from before she got locked up and she's like oh yeah you got my money he's like yeah and he just conveniently has her money the right amount folded up in her pocket and hands it over to her and she's like good and people are roasting her in the comments when she people are saying she must be from a small town someone says this was a lame scene we get it you were a drug dealer move on from that bs and someone else said and if he said no then what and then someone said this is one drug dealer I would not be scared of so what does Lindsay do she responds to one of the comments pretty much you know saying what were you gonna do if they said no and she responds and posts this video but she didn't leave this video for that long likely I got the screen recording and it's on my Instagram if you want to see the full video so she is with these two other dudes and she's going to collect her money allegedly in this video and you can see like these dudes push this dude in a ditch and it looks like they're hitting him or something but every single time it comes to them making contact it suddenly cuts off i think she was smart enough to cut off those parts not to incriminate herself then it cuts to a scene where this dude is in the ditch and he's like moaning, asking for an ambulance to be called. He's like, please call an ambulance. And Lindsay's just laughing, saying, huh, stupid, stupidity hurts, doesn't it? And I guess this dude got his ribs broke, allegedly, from this incident. And Deontay was actually in the comments when I reposted this video on my Instagram. And he said when he met Lindsay, this was one of the first things she showed him. She just silently sat on the bed showing him this video and then Deontay said he was terrified the rest of the night. She deleted this video, but come on girl, your daughter is following you on your Instagram and I just don't understand why she's still trying to glamorize this lifestyle so much. It's like she's trying to convince everybody that she's really about that life and that she's the female Pablo Escobar, but you know, real G's move in silence. They don't gotta stay here and convince the whole world. Then posting videos like this on her Instagram, it's like, wow, you shoved a crackhead, congrats. And, uh, I don't know, some people were saying they felt like it was a skit, but Deontay said he saw the full video and it was real. But what we didn't see is, you know, Lindsay, every time she's going to see her plug, I'm sure she was looking like that a few times with her plug, like that guy in the ditch, because I know that was her plug, and she's going out fronting all these crackheads that she's saying she's fronting all the time, she owes all this money. I can't even imagine how pissed off her plug was getting at her. I think the girl fronted more than she actually sold. And, you know, I used to do drugs, and I can think of plenty of money that people probably owe me. But you know what? I just chalk it up to the game because I'm not going to mess with that dirty money and risk my freedom. And it's like, don't you work at a rehab center? I remember Lindsay bragging about how she was working at a rehab center, and that was her dream. She wanted to help people in recovery. But it's like, okay, so you're telling people how to live their life sober, and then they're going home and watching you go and collect your old drug debt. Then people, and oh my gosh, it's just a messy situation overall. And I also found out that, you know, Lindsay's friend Six that she's collecting this money with on the show, that's her aunt. They're related, come to find out. And her and Blaine, like I said, they're no longer together. They've been broke up for a while now. I feel like Lindsay just got with Blaine because it was convenient, it was a storyline, it was a way to build herself up for the time being, but I feel like Lindsay wants more out of life and she feels like she could do better than Blaine. I feel like Lindsay wants somebody who has money like Scott but who's younger and somebody who has drive when it comes to working like Deontay but with good credit 
And she wants somebody near her age, like Blaine, but she wants somebody to take care of her because I feel like Lindsay doesn't want to be working all day. If Lindsay had it her way, she would be staying at home and she would just be a little social media influencer posting her reels with her transitions and doing her bikini pictures. I feel like that's what Lindsay really wants and she's going to keep doing what she wants until she gets that. But hey, I mean, don't settle for anything less than life. Go get it. But I don't want no more of these BS storylines like we've been getting because it seems like the same storyline for three seasons straight and I'm just I'm tired of Weed TV holding on to her past and her glamorizing her past it just seems like they're desperately trying to hold on to her past because nothing that she has going on right now is interesting enough and I'm just over it but I also noticed that they showed in a teaser that Blaine and Lindsay are fighting and Blaine's like, oh, what about you running off with the married man? And what I think he's talking about there is remember when Deontay and Lindsay and a whole bunch of the cast members were flown out to LA to do a photo shoot and Deontay was with CC at the time and Lindsay was with Blaine but there was a lot of drama because CC was upset because Lindsay and Deontay were taking pictures on the beach and it was a bunch of drama because a lot of people kept asking Lindsay if she was still with Deontay and she was telling people she was with him even though they were together and that was pissing CC off and so Lindsay ends up having Deontay go on the beach and hold up a calendar showing what the date is to try to make people think they're still together and then they ended up going to a bar together and this is when Lindsay was really with Blaine and she was making out with another dude at the bar and then Deontay's girlfriend at the time Cece got a hold of those pictures and blasted them all over the internet and the dude she was making out with had a ring on his finger and that's how I could always tell she never gave a damn about Blaine because here she is making out in front of the whole rest of the Love After Lockup cast with another man when they knew she was with Blaine. You guys remember all that drama? It was a lot. And I wish I had those pictures. Cece ended up deleting them and I ended up having to delete a lot of my videos when I got demonetized for a few months and I think that was one of the videos I deleted. But I think that's what he's talking about when he was calling her out about running off with a married man. And he has every right to. I've been wondering when he was going to bring it up. I mean, it only took him two seasons, but it's about time. But that's it for this video, guys. Let me know what you guys think about everything in the comments below. Check out my lashes and cosmetics at CourtneyAmber.com. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and thank you so much for watching.